Birmingham yesterday. Going to be a much different story today thanks to more cloud cover and also wet weather. It's dry right now in Hamilton, but look at the cloudy skies. Big difference from Aniston where we're seeing a mostly clear sky this morning. Beautiful sunrise there. But we are going to see cloud cover increase throughout the day today, but there's really going to be a split day between north and west of Birmingham and south and east of Birmingham likely going to stay dry. Well, back to our north and west, that's where it's going to be pretty soggy. You can see why we have this front slowly sinking down to the south and east, firing up some showers right now to our north and west. So we have a few light showers moving through Fayette as well as Winston County, but most of the area staying dry. Few light showers now tracking through Winston County, heavier downpour moving through Winfield, tracking through Double Springs in about 30 minutes, and a downpour right now through Fayette. But that's it as far as the rainfall goes for now. Temperatures climb to the mid to upper 80s. I think we do get a break from the 90s for most today, but it is going to be pretty soggy for the second half of the day. So for the drive to church or whatever you got to do this morning, likely going to stay dry except for the few people in our northwestern most counties. So most of us dry for the first half of the day. By this afternoon, though, more way widespread showers and thunderstorms start to pop pop up with heavier downpours likely moving through the Birmingham metro around dinner time tonight. So soggy evening for any dinner plans. This continues through about 10 o'clock. So heaviest rain will continue to push off to the east. So while East Alabama likely getting a break from any rain this morning and really through much of the day by this afternoon and evening, that's when the showers and thunderstorms will arrive. Overnight tonight, most of us will stay dry with those lingering showers through about 1 a.m. Break for the first part of Monday with a few scattered showers possible for that drive to work. Tomorrow afternoon, more of the activity in East Alabama. So soggy west today, more soggy east tomorrow, but likely not going to see any severe weather with these storms. Just a few rumbles of light or rumbles of thunder, few lightning strikes, not expecting severe weather today or tomorrow, just staying unsettled. The big weather story is going to be Tropical Storm Florence that's likely going to to be rapidly intensifying within the next 24 hours and could become a major hurricane by Monday afternoon. We also have Tropical Storm Isaac and Tropical Storm Helene behind it. Now, Helene likely going to stay off to sea. Isaac, though, could impact the Lesser Antilles, not going to have much of an impact on us anytime soon. But Florence is what we're going to be watching very closely. 70 mile per hour winds right now, but likely rapidly intensifying because a category three storm by the end of tomorrow. Category four as it eyes the east coast, likely going to impact a somewhere between North and South Carolina, at least the center of the storm making landfall late this week. So Thursday night into Friday, looking at the spaghetti plot, still a lot of uncertainty of where the center of the storm will be, which could drastically impact our weather. But still, we're going to be on the west side of the storm. That's the dry side of the storm. So the impact on central Alabama, not much, but we're going to be closely watching that for our folks along the east coast because the Carolina coast needs to be getting uh, hunkered down right now and preparing for that storm by the end of the week so there's a, not that mad dash towards the gas stations and the grocery stores and that for that matter. So tropical storm Isaac likely going to impact the Lester Antilles by Thursday night into Friday as a category one hurricane could become a category two by Wednesday, but still not going to impact us here locally. Our temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 80s tomorrow, thanks to more widespread rain expected. And we hang on to the mid 80s and unsettled through the end of the week, Ariana.